Welcome to my Savvy Coders Data Analytics and Python Coding April 2023 cohort presentation. I am B. Shelley Fletcher, and this will be over false job postings versus real job postings. I decided to tell you guys a little bit about myself. I am Brandy Fletcher. I have a mixed background in master data management, excuse me, data migration, as well as transportation and logistics. Over the course of my career, I've learned the importance of data governance and data accuracy. Naturally, having a curiosity for learning how things work and doing root cause analysis, I was led to Savvy Coders Bootcamp through the Skill Up program. I'm highly grateful for this program because it allowed me to expand my exposure in the data world and to also realize that there are many paths to be traveled along this road and this is just the beginning. False job postings are deceptive and can be harmful to job seekers' efforts to find suitable jobs. If and when job seekers invest time and energy into applying for a job that doesn't exist, it can be incredibly frustrating and discouraging. This is particularly true for job seekers who are actively looking for and rely on job search platforms to find suitable openings. I decided to do my capstone project over the number of false job postings versus real job postings and how these false postings can potentially affect the reputation of job search platforms and the companies that use them. For my data, my data cleansing process, I began to begin, I collected and manipulated multiple relevant data sets from Google Jobs and Indeed.com. When I started with the data, I had 20,000 rows. It was necessary to remove any columns and rows that would potentially interfere with proper analysis and output results. I decided to only use job title, location, and descriptions that I could find with company names only. Once my data was collected and manipulated into a form to review, we cleansed the data of nulls and nulls in the rows, moved any columns, as I stated, that would potentially interfere with proper analysis, and cleansed and saved this to a CSV file in order to upload into Python. Steps of visualization. I used Excel to manipulate my data. I might filter through the company profiles, those that were not easily identified were removed, as well as any columns in which had over 60% um, invalid data or just null data, period. I took a test population from each cleanse data set to test the validity of information published to ensure that it was accurate and that the job postings were valid. In Python, I used Jupyter Notebooks. Use Jupyter Notebooks to import Pandas library in order to create a data frame. Once I created my data frame, I dropped all null values that, again, may have interfered with proper analysis and so that I could work with the clean data set. My, object, my objective was to research, highlight, and investigate false job postings and to find, if possible, the underlying purpose of such posts. In conclusion, through my analysis, I was able to determine that 49 out of 1,877 records were found to be fraudulent. The original list contained over 20,000 rows. I used Tableau for visualization, as you can see here to the right. This is the actual job postings versus false job postings, and those highlighted in green are actually those found to be fraudulent. 
My analysis were conducted from September through December of 2021. And again, we originally started with 20,000 jobs, or job listings. What I learned during my Savvy Coders Bootcamp, we used Agile, we used the JIRA ticketing process, Python, Pandas, Numphys, API, which was a web scraping tool to cleanse data from web, websites. We used Agile, and then Agile was a product owner, and as a product owner, I was responsible for collaborating with my team in order to ensure that we were on track for our team sprints and to move our tickets from in process through to the completion stages with effective collaborations and alignment on our teams and our projects, of our team projects. Uh, I worked in conjunction and very closely also in the Agile process with the Scrum Master who was the overseer of the projects. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Savvy Coders. And this has been my presentation over false job postings versus real.